Okay, uh, bad news first. I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to play guitar. And I'm absolutely not going to belly dance tonight. <laughs> For my wife only. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about my passion, my obsession. Virtual readings. What the hell is that? Virtual readings. It's authors using virtual worlds to read stories, novels, whatever. So welcome to my brief introduction to virtual readings in Second Life. You might have heard about Second Life before, I think about 10 years ago. Surprising news, it is not dead. I'm sure you remember the basic facts. In Second Life, you can create an avatar as your virtual alter ego and live a second life. Uh, like these two fellows, for example, on the image. No, I don't think they are a couple. Their names are Bastian Bauer Barbosa, it's their avatar names. And I work with them, they build stages for all virtual readings. I will tell you later what these uh, virtual stages are. 
As I said before, second life is still alive. And it is full of nerds, guys like me. Um, I once even met Charles Stross in Second Life, really. That's the avatar of Charles Stross, I think, in 2008. He gave a lecture on visions, on his visions of the future. That's me on the left side, Mr. Stross on the right, a little more hair. He looks a little confused here at this picture. I think he's still looking for the uh, beautiful female avatar. I just pushed aside to get this picture with him. Um, I think he was a bit scared at the moment, I don't know. Um, my wife and me, that's, that's our other task, that's not really close. We, we run a literature group in Second Life, a, a literature group, uh, the Brennen de uh, I think that's uh, best translated as uh, the burning letters. Uh, and we organize and host virtual readings. Virtual readings, that means an author shows up as an avatar and reads live in cyberspace. Since 2010, almost 130 writers have been our guests and uh, we think about 500 events. Uh, that is possible with virtual worlds like Second Life or OpenSim and we think it will be even more interesting with the upcoming new systems like High Fidelity and Sansa, which is also called Second Life 2.0. If I look around here tonight, or better, if I look on the schedule, I see many of our former guests, like Gabriele Behrendt, for example, or um, a few more, Michael Ubermeid, Uwe Hermann, I think he's still here, there, um, or Norbert Fix or Anja Bagus, Carsten Kuschel, Ulf Hildebrandt, Regina Schleheck, Frederik Brake, Tom Dau, they all have tried virtual readings and it was always great fun for them and for us. Okay, but let's talk about the dirty details. I'm sure you know the stereotypes people think about when it comes to Second Life. Second Life is for porn, it is full of people with bizarre fetishes. Uh, this is simply not the truth. Really, really. It's not the truth. It is the truth. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, it's, it's not what it looks like. Uh, we were just trying something. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, but one cliche. It's not a cliche, not a stereotype. Yes, it is true. Second life is full of beautiful female avatars. <laughs> this one, for example. Uh, the problem is, you never know who controls them. Some of them are not very ladylike in real life. Always keep that in mind. You never know. What kind of creep lurks behind a beautiful avatar? <laughs> <laughs> how, how did that get in here? I don't understand that. Uh, actually, my wife has prepared this presentation. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, this is why people say don't date avatars in real life, don't get in contact in the real world, keep your hands away from the whatever hides behind an avatar. <clears throat> But I did. I dated an avatar. It is true. I met my real life wife in the second life. <laughs> it's my real life. Well, it's her avatar. Uh, <clears throat> isn't she hot? <laughs> uh, and in the real world, in the real world, she's really as beautiful as her avatar. Uh, honestly, believe me, we'd be so pretty. That's yeah. <laughs> this is my wife. Cute, isn't she? Yes, I think she is. Yeah, that's my wife. I met her in Second Life, 2009, during a virtual reading. That, I think that is one reason why I love virtual worlds. Okay. So, you are a writer. 
and you are afraid of talking to a bunch of people in front of you, like I am. <laughs> oh my God, you are many tonight. Okay. Then, if you are a writer who is afraid to talk in front of people or to read, virtual readings are your chance to get in contact with your audience without getting in contact with your audience. Um, it is, it really is your chance to look cool. You don't even have to think about your appearance. For example, your shoes. Or your hairdo, face, glasses, and the rest. You are just going to look really cool. Be the leader you always wanted to be. <laughs> or a cyberpunk cyborg. <laughs> or a steampunk cyborg. That's a strange thing on the left side, huh? Be a Victorian gentleman. Perfect. And you will be always well prepared for childhood. Even if you like it a little more eccentric. It's all possible. I, I, I still think I'm the uh, Ger John Collins of the German science fiction community. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, um, your wife loves you. <laughs> no, it's not. She's not, no. <laughs> so, how can you use virtual worlds as a writer? Like this. Meet your favorite critic in a relaxing atmosphere. Invite him to the virtual world. Talk about all the bad things he wrote about you. Resolve your dispute in a peaceful environment. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, you control this world. <laughs> Let the sucker know how much you not appreciate his opinion. <laughs> or share the beauty of space, unfortunately, with only one space you left. <laughs> or Explore the freedom of post apocalyptic worlds with no speed limits. <laughs> All you need is a computer, a headset, and your book. You will never again suffer from stage fright. Stage fright is history. No problem anymore. Okay, stage fright is always a problem. You don't get that. Okay, but in virtual world, and that is the great thing, any stage is possible, like this one. You see a submarine, you see a steampunk mech, you see a steampunk helicopter, wonderful landscapes that can be built for your writers. Or something like this with an airship, for example. Another one. I think I, I love the stages. I really like them. Or like this one. Any scenery is possible for fantasy readings, for example. Anything goes. This one is very nice. It's uh, from uh, for a reading uh, from a book about superheroes. And you see the bus that is uh, breaking through the bridge. And uh, this is the place where the audience is uh, placed. Uh, it, it, it didn't fall down, no worries. Uh, so this is possible. This all can be done. Whatever environment you need. My wife and me would enjoy to help you with that. And please don't believe the rumors. We never accidentally deleted our guests' clothing. <laughs> That was only one time. 
we swear this will not happen again. We please, please give us a chance. Read together with us in cyberspace in English or German language. Every writer is welcome. We always do our best. Thank you very much.